All right, Pirates, we are back here in Sunnyvale. About to finish up this unit. Actually, we're just gonna load it today. We gotta get back, and I wanna get out of here. This manager pissed me off, refused to take my California resale permit, stated by California that you're supposed to. He tried to tell me I have to fill out other documents, and I'm just not very happy. Still waiting to get this all settled out. What do you think? Um, I think it's a good unit, though. I'm not sure exactly what happened with the Quentin over there, but I think it's a good unit. Definitely make money. Oh yeah, this is definitely a good unit. All of this is freaking awesome. We got so, guys, like see like this, see like tag right there? These wardrobes are full of stuff. I don't know if it's new, used, what, but it's crazy. It's, it's lightweight crazy. Um, I'm excited to get this back to, that says cashmere on it right there. And every wardrobe is like that. We got lucky that they took bad photos. It's crazy guys, look, it's just hella new stuff, hella slightly used stuff, and it's just nonsense. Michael said this thinks there's jewelry in the side pocket, right, that what you said? Yeah, there's jewelry in there. We're going back to the warehouse, guys, and we're gonna do some more. Oh, we got a lot of unboxing, I'm not gonna, I'll do a lot of unboxing and then a big recap, but there is so much stuff here, it's not even funny. Just like that, within 25 minutes, and I did two lives. We loaded all of that in the box truck. Let's go back to the warehouse and find out what we got. And so it begins, Pirates. We are back here at the house. We unloaded this whole storage unit, and there's some nasty stuff here. I'm literally sorting this box right here. It's kind of like, I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and film you guys every single piece of every single thing in this storage unit, but immediately I found this right here. Look at that. Holy crap, that is diamonds and emeralds. 925, bummer, it's not gold, but that's still nice though, probably not emeralds. We got a brooch, and what is this? Please be gold, the other one wasn't. Please be gold. Ooh, look at that silver piece. Guys, this is getting tasty because you never know what's in this storage unit. We haven't even scratched the surface, but look at that, that's gold. And what is this? Holy crap, that might be. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Is it tangled in here? What is going on? That is gold, guys. Look at that. That is freaking phenom. I can't tell if the necklace is. I think the necklace she just added on there, but it's hard to say. I'm going to have that tested. That is gold. Let's see what's on here. Eighteen carat. Wow. So that's an eighteen carat with pink stones. These are the matching earrings. And that is a pendant. And the necklace I'm on the fence about. But guys, look, I mean, just just look. What we're what we're finding that in is this junkie box. I'm sorting some good stuff that's brand new. The crap that's already been used. And we haven't even scratched this. We haven't even touched it. It's all just sitting right there. Got a whole thing of brand new makeup there, so that's kind of tight. All right, Pirates, we are back at the house. My house, Mi Casa Su Casa. I'm gonna clean up the last pile of jewelry and then we're gonna go through this. <laughs> Pirates, look at this. It's a suitcase, I know, but watch. Let me just show you. Oh, let's go. I know this is gonna be good. I know this has gotta be good. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, stay in jewelry. Okay. Interesting. But look. Look at all of this. Uh, uh, uh. Guys, I'm gonna start pulling this out and I'm gonna show some stuff. You know, actually, let's just show a couple things here. Let's go like this, come on. So I'm back here in my house. This is one of my favorite places to be my house 
And if you remember correctly, I used to do all my auctions out of here. Look at that, right off the bat, it's a Cameron, a Cameron and Cross. That's a lovely set right there, first and foremost. So we'll set that aside. And that is a replica of Jacqueline Kennedy, B Jacqueline Bouivie Kennedy. Um, then there's probably going to be a little bit of crap in here too. What do we got here? A Santa Clara University. Dang, that was almost priceless. Um, guys, I, I, like I said, it's going to be so much. Let me just kind of lay it out. I think we'll be here forever if I just try to show you each piece one at a time. That's going to be kind of a nightmare. And that gets to be for a boring video. I know no one likes to just run over the same stuff. But it's going to be nuts. Another camera was in cross. These are money. Those are like $40, $50 bills all day long. Especially, like this one's got Peridot. Hello Kitty, one of the hottest, trendiest items of the millennium here. Everything just stuffed. Full of jewelry. Well, that's, that's like some Christmas cloisonne right there and some just regular antique looking cloisonne. Just insane, like a brand new guest watch, $135. Some beautiful sterling silver pieces right there. Man, the Jacqueline Kennedy stuff is coming out the woodworks, and that is not cheap stuff. Like I said, that's good money. What a tangle mess this is, guys. That looks like a mahjong piece. Maybe gold? I don't know. But look, it's just... Wow. That's weird. Take a third one of those. I don't even know what to make of it. I'm just like literally. Oh, oh, oh wow. Now that is a nice piece of sterling right there. That is a beaut. Come on. Look at that sparkle. Oh my god. That is nuts. Okay. Ooh, you see that? Oh, wait a No. Do you see that? I saw this. I saw this. Looks like gold. Damn. Marked 925. But that is freaking nice. But there's no freaking way. There is no way. There is no way. We just pulled a Rolex out of there there's no freaking way that can't be real i don't like the way the second hand's moving it's not fluid i could tell you right now it's not real i wish it's almost fluid no hologram no hologram and then nah i can't be real i wish that would be a 14 carrot probably the color of it wow bummer i'm still gonna pop it open but let's go back to this right here look at this sterling silver these are unique too i just found these and i didn't even know what to make of them but they look like they have gold and gold i don't know here a little present A little bit of mold, huh? Or at least some milk stains. Diamonds by Chainery. Ooh, there's actually something in there. What the hell? It looks like gold. It looks like the exact necklace that Eviana wears, dude. It's like the exact same one we gave her, but in no, white gold. I have this exact same necklace. Evie's is like a four leaf clover. Oh. I have that in 14 karat gold. That's nuts. Like the exact same one. It's in white gold. That's probably a nice diamond. All right. That's a good thing. We got one piece of gold there. And we got, what is this? Dang. That's unique. That's, is that amber? Dude, that is badass if that is amber. 
definitely Jules Garfinkel. Definitely costing, but that's nuts. Oh, come on. Please, universe, a 72 gram gold chain for me, please. No. Still beautiful, though. I think you all are going to enjoy these auctions coming up because there's so much. Another one. Jacqueline Kennedy must have had the nicest collection of jewelry in the world. Because why is there so much stuff that emulates hers? Do it. The moment of truth. Do we have a Rolex or a Rolex? We've been trying to find one of these for so long. It's like the myth. I mean, we do have the Petit Philippe, but... There's no, that's not real. They make some good knockoffs though, you know what I mean? Like, if you just wanted to trick people, you'd rock this and no, whatever, no. All right, so that's not bad, guys. We got a great little pile of stuff, I think. Gold, gold. This gold piece right here is fire. Oh my gosh, that's a nice little bracelet. Um, Silver and silver. And yeah, guys, I think that's pretty good. So far, I mean, we got so we haven't even touched this. I literally have not even touched this unit. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to give you another update when I get to the warehouse on the horse. The that, that's crazy in, in itself. Um, I see so many things that might pay for the unit. Look at all of these Jacqueline Kennedy and all of this stuff, guys. This is I I didn't even really lay it out all pretty because I I just don't have time for that right now. But. Tomorrow morning when I get back to the warehouse, I'm going to give you an update on the horse. And y'all are about, to, it's literally about to be in five minutes, but you guys are about to have your socks knocked off. Hi, right, Pirates. We are here back at the warehouse. And like I told you, I was going to give you a little update. I'm going to show you this guy right here. Check this guy out. So I didn't put, I know it's going to, it was going to be cool. I didn't pay too much attention to it until we got it wrapped up. And the most important thing was finding the name. But guys, this thing is pretty freaking tight. It comes up to basically my belly button. But look right here, guys. Holy crap. This is by far should be paying for the entire $2,000 purchase and maybe even more. Because look up a PJ, PJ Men. M-E-N-E -E is his name. That is surprising as heck in this designer unit. And it is actually turning out to be by far my best unit of 2024, which has only been three. And damn, this could be one of the best units of the year because I don't know. You've already seen nothing but jewelry. We got to continue going through everything. We've only touched like 5% of this unit. Man, Byrus, this one right here, we're back. We just showed you the jewelry box and now it's time to start going through stuff. And I know it probably doesn't look the greatest sitting here, but I can promise you this is just going to be one for the record books. And just like that, I've already filled up one whole freaking rack. I haven't even touched, look, I literally haven't even put a dent in this wardrobe. Guys. There's just one wardrobe already filled up a whole rack and it's like all dresses and they are all pretty much relatively around the same sizes. But look, so many of them are just brand new. It's not even, it's not even funny. It's, oh wow, what is this? Holy crap. Look at this one, Chris. It's pretty fly. Pretty fly. Guys, and it's, I'm telling you, it's crazy. New dress, new dress, shirt, new dress. Wow. Three, oh, 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 oh. Look at this one, Chris. This one says 398 on it for this doily. <whistles> Bro, what? how much money you think is just in this one rack? And we haven't even touched, like I said, this is gonna be one for the record books. I don't know these brands off the off the bat, but I'm gonna learn them before the end of this. 26 at Goodwill. What could a Goodwill she shopping at charging 26 a dress? Now, comment below what you guys think of this unit so far. This is only the second video. This is only a fraction of it. And I wanna know some comments. What do you think is gonna be the overall value? What do you think we're gonna find still? Yeah. Here's some shoes, guys. I got a bunch of clothes laid out, but that's getting kind of boring for a second. So we're going to take a nice little tour through some shoes. Brand new Bionic. You ain't going to find a pair of Bionics in any store under 100 bucks. And yes, they're both shoes in there. Not just one. That's a 
one pair of Ionics right there. We got $49 price on it. And that's probably going to be one of our lower end prices in my opinion. Traditional heel by Life Stride. Brand new in a white. And that is a size 7. Chinese laundry. I had somebody comment the other day. Oh, that's a brand that sold at Ross. Um, every brand is sold at Ross. There's no such thing as a Ross brand. They buy all high-end stuff and then resell it at a discounted price after the season's over. I got to start looking up the Kate Spades. I'm trying to decide, like, I want to run all this on whatnot, but I'm also not in the business of just giving everything away. Like, I don't want to sell $800 shoes for 20 bucks, you know? I'm, like, I'm in this for the money, not just to give everybody a deal. Look at that. That's all, that's all Liberace. So, in my head, I'm trying to decide what to do moving forward. Like, for example, Kate Spade, very good on eBay. This could be like 100 to 150 bucks on there whereas that can only be 30 on whatnot and that's just uh, dumb to be in business and lose money constantly like that wow look at these this is the weirdest coach pair i've ever seen smells like leather coach that's the money right there that's a good one in my opinion size seven we got these Ariops. a lot of people been commenting about those and mentioning they want to see those that's a size 6.5 medium. Line Fisher. This is sequined linen. Okay. By Fifth Avenue. That's like a cheaper brand, I guess, but still $69 price tag, guys. And of course, another Bionic. It's Bionic. Nice little traditional black there. And one last pair of Ariat here. Oh my God. Look at that. It's got like, a, you know when something sits for a while, it's got that little whiting there, but it's still brand spanking new. In a size 6.7. Uh, Comment below what you think something like that costs in the store, please. Technical Parameters Foot Massage Spa by Esviva. That is a big foot spa too. That is a big foot spa. I wonder what that's worth. I don't even know. Oh, that's adorbs. De Sote Merle Norman. I wonder what that costs. I don't know much about this brand. I've never heard of it, but like most things, it's time to learn. Merle Norman. We got a bunch. Maybe she was a dealer because she had a lot of jobs. I could tell you that right now. She sold for like Jenny Craig, you know. I'm guessing this is all new, but it's hard to say. Like that one looks open. Did she open it and test it? Looks possible. And it looks like clothes. Imagine that. Uh, ooh, we got a beautiful dress right here by Oak Oak, designed by Ogla. We got the brands are are unique. Um, I definitely at some point gonna have to start taking stuff and not selling it. Made in Wongwe. Way. Sicily, made in Italy. That's a beautiful peacoat. And it's just, this is just the all thing of clothes right here, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, that's kind of cool. It actually came with the, the keys and stuff. Wow, like what are we, okay. Okay. No jewelry, no, no, no high-end looking stuff. There's a couple people that cost them there, but what, the moral of what I was trying to get to when I first opened this is, look at this box, guys. This is a Cupid. Wow, like I don't even know what to do here. Those look brand new. There's no box to them. Wow. They 
just everything looks just it looks like brand new Guessing the rest of this is close. I might like that a sleep number pillow. Okay, I might have to dibs these because I'm definitely not liking my pillows lately. Contour, adjust the height, airflow pillow. I might dibs these. I might dibs these. Scottish, Scottish Hendos? Never heard of that. Kathy Von Zeeland. That's kind of cute. Kind of a little bit trendy there with a little thing. Ooh, I know about this brand. I know this brand. Brand new. Got a little paper inside. The Vera Bradley with the tag. $88 MSRP. Hallmark, $39. That's still not bad for a Hallmark purse like that at $39. And then you got this interesting little backpack. Interesting. I don't know what this is. This is uh, Society 6. A oh, baby. A hey, baby. A hey, baby. Damn. It's got a little blue. I don't know if I'll run that or not. Sometimes what I do is I put ones that are a little less desirable and weathered, and I'll put them in a lot. So, ooh, another, another Vera mm, Ace Hardware. Well, that one's a sixty-dollar purse at Ace Hardware, and she had to have it. You know, she was in there getting a little bit of nails, maybe a little picture hanger. I said, I gotta have this one. We got here an Ugg beanie. All right. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cute. The beanies are making a comeback. A $55 beanie, too, by Ugg. Ugg's a good brand. Women love Ugg. We got a Tory Birch. I think I saw this the other day. I have a hard time not opening boxes when I move a unit. 348 retail so I'll, I'll peek in them sometimes you know i gotta open them and see what i got like you can't just move a unit and not look you know but this box was slightly open so i did look and what do we got here oh yeah you guys smell that leather you guys smell that quality leather fry i think these are a little bit of money at least a hundred dollars and there's two pairs of those we got some clothes, we're gonna do it again. And then we get into some type of bags, okay? Here we go. Let's go, maybe, maybe a little bit of stuff in here. Lauren by Ralph Lauren. It's not a bad little bag there. I mean, that'd be great for traveling. Heavy, nice little overnighter. When you're going to knock around somewhere, as Uncle Chris would say. We got a bumblebee purse by, ooh, ooh, yes. There we go. By Coach with the Coach wallet. Nice. Now that's a, that's a little hit there. What do you think, 40 bucks on that? Brand new Kate Spade with the tag. I like it. Keep it coming. That's a Coach. That's a Coach right there. She's a Coach. Bruh, wow, are you real? I don't know how to even tell. I'm guessing that's not real. I'm guessing it's not real. I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask somebody. says Burberry Blue Label. It's got kind of a good vibe to it there and stuff, but I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into that. Ooh, another Katie Spade right there. Old Katie right there. It's like weird, she didn't like to wear her Katie's too. And Canada, that was 418, and USA, that's 348. That's not bad. Purse, 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 purse. 
shoes, purse, shoes, purse, shoes, purse. It's a cool little vintage one. Roberts, never heard of that. That thing is furry. I bet I got boots to match that. So I finally got to just look up this brand here, Ross and Snow. And I just, most important to me is just to find out where high end is. So I typed in Ross Snow. I put in sold highest to lowest or highest, and they can be some money. 300, and then we get down into 200, and then 150, 100. Let's just say they're 100 bucks. Let's just say that. But the reality is we got a bunch of them. They come with the dust bags. And they come with the sexy. They come with the sexy. Look at that. Ross and Snow with the sexy. We're going to be running some of these for sure. For sure. Pirate, this unit has turned out to be pretty good. Like I said, we haven't even scratched the surface on it. There is everything you see there. And it's deep. And I think there's going to be... I'm hoping under one of those boxes is a massive jewelry box. Quick update. So it turns out Extra Space is telling me they require a seller certificate, which is basically a form they're supposed to print out. Public Storage has had those for years, and they were they just give them to you, and basically you sign your name, and you put the same information on your resale permit, and yada, yada, yada. It's not even a requirement, but they're supposed to print them out. So I'm a little still pissed off about that and not getting my taxes back. And another update is the woman who owns the unit has reached out and asked for her photos back, and the, the district manager is requesting them by January 16th. So that's kind of unique. But anyway, if you made it this far in a video, comment if you want me to keep filming every aspect of this and show you what is inside of there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs>